Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you're not a big fan of Google Chrome, then pretty much we're going to be showing you how to uninstall this. Google Chrome is an awesome browser. I honestly had used it for a very long time, but as time changed, there's better ones. You don't have to have so much of uh, the sniffing that Google does that kind of gets information about you and stuff like that. So that's where pretty much where Edge came out from the from the pretty much the Chromium based structure that's open source for people. And that they created, and there's other stuff like Brave and other stuff like that that are out there. Regardless, I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall Google Chrome if it has an issue or you just don't want it anymore. Also, in the end of the video, if you want to get some Windows product keys or like Microsoft Office stuff, discount kind of less than fifteen dollars, then pretty much wait for the end. Or if not, go to pretty much the description below. I will be showing you a link where to go and where you can use the discount code for it, and it should be useful in most places. Stuff like that. Regardless, go ahead and get started. Now on Windows 11, it's pretty simple. I've had some videos before on Windows 10. You could probably find it out there. If not, there's probably someone else too there on YouTube too. Regardless, we're pretty much showing you how to uninstall this. Windows 11 is very simple in some ways. Regardless, to make this easy, all you have to do is go to Start. And before you click Start, you don't have to go to Settings, go to Everything. Just right-click underneath the Start menu. And all you have to do is go to Apps and Features. Now from Apps and Features, you'll let it load up for a bit, and you're going to look for Google Chrome, and pretty much this is the program, and you're going to go to the three dots and select Uninstall, and I'll ask us if the Apps and Related Info will pretty much be uninstalled for it. If it comes to a point Google Chrome doesn't want to be shown there, you can also go to Start, and you can type in Control Panel, and you can see Programs, or honestly just select Uninstall Program, and you can select Google Chrome and click the Uninstall, or double tap it, and it'll pretty much open it up. I'll tell you the process of uninstalling it, but that's just in case it's not there. Regardless, here's Google Chrome. You'll press the three dots and you'll press uninstall. And here's it's asking that all the apps are related again. We really don't care. This is the point where it's going to pretty much going to prompt you. Um, depending if you don't have it, you, you'll probably skip through the point, but most likely you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And it tells us, are you sure you want to uninstall Google Chrome? And from this point, this is only if you want it to be just Google Chrome being a glitch, you want to uninstall it, then just leave your data there. But if you don't want to leave any of your data records from Google Chrome, just select the also delete your browsing data and press uninstall. And pretty much will take us to our site. If you want to take a survey, here we are back to Google Edge with our thousands of freaking assistants like that. You want it to be your default browser because that's honestly we just changed it. If this comes to a point and you want to go Chrome and ask it just and don't do that. You, you'll honestly will be back to your same point again and switching over. But regardless, Google Chrome did uninstall and we don't see it in this program anymore and it's disappeared from the desktop. If I go to search, I don't see it. Let's see if I type in Chrome. It's pretty much there. The only thing I've ever seen is pretty much the setup that I did before. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply. This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.